Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm so glad you joined me today for another speed build. Today we are going ahead and furnishing the New York brownstone inspired townhouse. And if you have no idea what I'm referring to, in the last video, we built four different townhouses inspired by different cities around the world. And this is, of course, in anticipation for The Sims 4 for rent expansion pack coming out December 7th, but also inspired by a lot of the CC kits that I have in my collection. If you're new here, I my name is Kaylee, hi, and I love to build with CC in The Sims 4. If you don't, like using CC, that's okay. You can still use my builds. Um, just when you download it, a lot of the furniture won't be there. If you like to build though, then that's that might be a good thing for you because you can still download the shell and the shell will still be there. And I still try to use some base game things as well as, um, I mean, the only other expansion pack that I have is City Living, so, which I do use. A good amount of city living stuff in this particular build because this build is inspired by New York City. City living isn't a particular city per se, but you know, it works. It matches a lot of like the uh, the brick that I'm using here is from city living, the expansion pack. I'm also using a lot of Hey Harry's Brownstone collection, um, sh different Shop the Look collections from Felix Andre and Hey Harry, but the windows that you see here are all from Hey Harry's uh, Brownstone collection as well as the entire kitchen set. The dining room chairs are from my Shuno son. And if you ever have any questions about where certain items are from, which CC creators make them, um, and I haven't pointed it out in the video, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I can get back to you with some links. Always also check out the description box because I do try to link most of the CC, like the majority of the CC kits that I use in each build in the description box below. So here I am going in and doing the entryway, dining room, and kitchen real fast. The floors look really plain, but I wanted this build to look like it was an old kind of like factory or warehouse turned into a loft kind of um, townhouse, apartment. I don't know. It's, listen, I'm from Los Angeles, okay? And this kind of style is definitely not my forte. It does exist in LA, but like, I don't have very much experience with building in this kind of style or any of these styles that I'm going to be building in. But that's the, the beauty of it. The fun of it is that, um, especially in The Sims, you know, you can play around, practice new things, do, do stuff that you've never done before, like building with different styles and just experiment. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm taking a lot of things from Hey Harry's Octave collection, like that coffee table, that record player, I believe is also from Hey Harry's Octave collection and it's also functional. And then the sofa is from Hey Harry's Shop The Look set. Oh, the fireplace, the really pretty like brushed metal fireplace is also from Hey Harry's Octave collection. And then I do use, like I was saying earlier, a bunch of city living stuff like that. Painting is from city living. The bookshelf is from city living. And then now we're moving on into the downstairs office space. So let's talk a little bit about the Sims that I imagine live here. I was furnishing this place for a sim who okay i was thinking this is this is my line of thought i was like if they own this giant property in new york city or like brooklyn they're probably rich as fuck okay so i was like what if one of them like it's like a couple and they have one kid what if one of the parents was a professional athlete? I was thinking maybe the mom is like a professional basketball player. And then the dad is a famous artist. 
And so, because I wanted to include at least one skill building item in here that kind of goes with the theme of the, of the house or at least, you know, at least it's like there's something to do in the house and it's not just all like just for looks. And then I was like torn between, I wanted the basketball hoop because I already put the basketball hoop in the back and I wanted to continue with that um, athletic theme because there's a lot of like athletic posters and things that I wanted to use in the office space. But then I feel like a warehouse loft space is also really great for all the art stuff that comes with the city living expansion pack. Like I'm thinking of the mural spaces that you could do. They have like a wall mural and a floor mural as well as garage doors that can be painted. And yeah, I just feel like loft spaces are particularly well suited for um, artists. I don't know why I just associate it like with artist spaces. So I did both. So downstairs is more decorated for the athlete, like I mentioned. And then upstairs, there's a whole upstairs loft space that is really cool. And I'll show you it in a second, but it has a lot more artist stuff as well as a home gym for the athlete. So I thought that was a really fun storyline. And then I also gave the their kid, um, a hamster, <laughs> a little something to do, as you saw, and then um, also a functional guitar that is from my Shino-san. And now we moved up to the second floor, and the second floor is only accessible via a ladder, like a true lofty industrial warehouse style. Um, and I just cut out, I, I added a little fence, the fence is from Hey Harry's Harlux set, and it's very industrial looking. And so then I just cut out a little piece in the floor so you can kind of look down below into the kitchen area. And then this is the landing area. Those bookshelves, I believe, are from either Hey Harry's living room set or Hey Harry's uh, Shop the Look, one of her Shop the Looks. That chair is from Aggressive Kitty. It's freaking adorable. I'm newly obsessed with aggressive kitty that's a new cc creator that i've discovered that just makes such great cc it's a little bit more um alpha the maxis match and if you don't know what that means maxis match is the style that it's more cartoony it's it's a style that everything in the sims is originally created in and alpha is much more like the textures are hyper realistic and so there's kind of an in-between, I don't know what you would call it, but basically that's what Aggressive Kitty is. It's like really hitting that in-between spot. And I love it, I'm here for it. These paintings that I'm putting in the primary suite that I'm now decorating are also from Aggressive Kitty. And wow, we're really moving through this. Um, I totally talked over that um, gym part and and uh, upstairs like art studio, but you saw me do it. Um, and so yeah, now we're in the primary suite and it does not have an ensuite bathroom, but they basically have the entire upper floor to themselves. So I gave them a separate bathroom. There's also a separate ba bathroom downstairs, a full bath, both full baths for um, guests and also their child downstairs. So I'm just going to finish cluttering up here. The I'm, I just want to quickly point out these uh, closet modular pieces are from David's apartment as well as the, uh, what do you call that? Like industrial looking table that's underneath this TV picture frame. The TV picture frame is not uh, from David's apartment. That is from Charlie Pancakes. The bed is from EA's city living expansion pack. These curtains that I've been using all over the house are from Hey Harry and Felix Andre's Organic set. And then I believe those bedside tables are from a Shop the Look set. That bench at the end of the table is from Octave. And now I'm moving on to the bathroom here. This is the primary bathroom. It's quite large. 
actually both bathrooms are quite large. There's a, a lot more space than I anticipated that there would be in this um, house. So I had to go with it somehow. Um, and I built myself a little custom vanity here for the parents and yeah that's that's all that there is to this build you guys so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and comment down below subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications when i post and i will talk to you all in my next video enjoy the screenshots